has gone on to score 88 goals after just six and a half seasons. Why I'm saying a half because last season, if you remember, we all had interference from COVID-19. Then you have the likes of Sandra Nawetemi, who are top scorers in the first editions, one and two. Then Hasfa went on to become that scorer in the other seasons, but also MVP of 2019. We have a free kick coming in from the captain, Nantongo. Aisha Natungo could be the one to go for this free kick. This is Aisha. Strikes it hard and goes outside. Well, she actually went for power instead of for precision. That was a right angle for precision, really. Not power. Unfortunately for her, the ball just easily curls away from the goal. And goes away with a goal kick there for McCurry. Began quickly. Pushed away there for another throw in, this time by the captain, Aisha. With a goal, you still don't stand chance of going through. There you go. Water break again. Stage. Water break again or a substitution, Peter Otai? Oh, sub? Yeah. I thought water break. I'm getting ready <laughs> for that. that. The other one came at 32 minutes, so this one should be probably coming at around 70, 70 minutes or 75. Let's wait and see if it comes. After all. Well, there you go. Makere make another substitution here. Makere University have now used three players as substitutes so far. In total, that is about 15 players, 14 on the Campy. pitch. Who oh. goes flying, Campy? Be a throw in. Referee allows it to go. It was that actually is Allen. rather. Alan Nassas had gone to the left the wing. With Campy. <laughs> Throw in. Well, this is Alan's skills here. Good footwork. It's a super dive, but good footwork. Stolen away by Nakasato Rebecca. Away by Amina. not getting that just rolls away there for it's a goal kick there to Kawempe and the positioning of Shimak players also worries a bit you realize they always have about one player in between the four defenders of Kawempe Muslim uh, unless that player is as gifted as I mean Anababi you may not get chances of passing uh, past those players they need to add numbers up front, otherwise uh, the safe play may not be hoping after all. Look away, brush through, Margaret is here. This is Margaret. And intercepted very well there by Ndagire. Josephine had to come back to defend Ndagire. Maybe Muslim pile the pressure up. It's a long distance shot. Oh. And this time the goalkeeper, Grace, falls on that one. <laughs> Grace does well. I thought she was fumbling a bit. No, she stood tall and got this. Kawempe, Muslims denied again. Enjo. Ndagire. Amina. Good flick. Just goes away for throwing here to. The Shimax Amina away by Intagire. Oh, here we go again. The chance for the shot from distance. She fought with that. She totally <laughs> fought, fought with, with that, that and finally got it. She was just like there was no advancing player for Kawempe Muslims team. out for throwing roughly about uh, 21 minutes remaining to play for McCary trailing by 1-0 it remains like this they'll be officially relegated to the elite league ready to go down and begin from there yet again good chest control intercepted well there by Rebecca and Rebecca picks up a foul she's been working very very heavily today Rebecca Nakasato, trust me, together with uh, Nabi Amina, these have uh, 
being the little player for or players rather for the Makere side. I don't know if they will be remaining at the club when it's relegated to the Elite League or look for more chances elsewhere. As uh, Amina Nababi will be the one to deliver this one. Amina goes for the low shot. It's very disappointing. Yeah, disappointing from her considering all she's been doing on the pitch. But understand she gets tired as signs of frustration. You can see her. You can see what she's doing with her arms and you realize she's disappointed. She thinks they should probably have gotten something so far from the game considering the way they are playing. Of course, a long kick from uh, the backfield to the front field. Namoudi. Roda loses that ball through. It is at the midfield, Amina. Collected very well there by Josephine Indagire. And stolen away by Shakira, who is fouled in the process by Amina. At second time, Amina is fouling Shakira. Sometimes uh, players come in two matches, having warned one another, I'm coming for you. That's why we see Amina now dropping her from the front side she's coming to the midfield but that's a message to other players that you're not doing your work if she has to drop to the midfield then try to a uh, win play for shimak then the coach needs probably to make a few substitutions that he has already done and they have no impact kawempe muslim yeah just the number 16 is coming in for nandago hadija yeah nandago has had no impact whatsoever up front apart from a few one twos we are seeing a different player on, and that is a Nabulia. Yeah, they come again. Very good defensive work. The referee has uh, wanted a free kick here to the Shimax. They've actually played a much better second half, the Shimax. They look very organized. Oh, very unlucky that they give away that goal, but uh, they've been very outstanding today. Long from Udaya. Ndagire. Now look at Udaya now. Trying to go along to Namatovu here. Collected at the back zone. Now this is uh, the new entrant a while ago. Nabulia. Long forward ball here. On the chest, it's Angel. Could be in trouble. Oh, here comes a oh, good save from the keeper. Yeah. Atuhiro. Actually, keeper coming out of goal saved the day. You realize she kept the eyes on the ball. And any time Margaret wanted to launch, the keeper was there. She saves she Mark another time. Well, here we go. That's Angel failing to defend well. And yeah, Margaret. The ball didn't hit the right part. Actually, it went up her sleeves instead of just going below she wanted to shoot that if she shot then there was chance that the ball would have gone under the keeper's arms and that should have been a second amina never be disappointed disappointed with what's going on oh there's a player on the ground injured so we have about uh 16 minutes right now to play for hope it's not a serious injury there And uh, that was uh, Margaret who was denied a goal by the goalkeeper, Grace. Katu Hurira. Read that move so well and had to come out of her goal very, very quickly. And uh, the player that was down was Nanziri Roda. And, uh, she seems to be okay to continue this. Well, yellow card for her. Never be. Yeah. What did she do? We are yet to see. It was actually see. her foul on Nanziri that resulted to that. Okay. Nanziri. It's away by Udaya. It's collected by Aisha Natungu. And finally put away by Susan Nalukode. Or Nalukoda rather. It's through here to the Shimax. Udaya. Miscue from Udaya. Good play from Nabulia. Ah, 
very good player from Amina. She's a good player. Yudai, that is uh, a chance for Nahulia. Nanziri. Away by Enjo. Nakulia Enjo allows the ball to roll out the throw here to the Shimax. Amina. Already on a yellow card. Away by Nanziri. Stolen away. Here they come again. Could be a chance for Allen. And again, she just fails to utilize the opportunity, Allen. When you're a striker for Kawempe Muslims, you're very sure the opportunities will come. How you convert them also matters. She scored for them but has missed about three chances. That is being wasteful in front of goal. Nobody knows what Hasfa, who now moved on to a different a club, would have done. Like I told you, she's top scorer all time. 88 goals. She partnered with Sandra Nabuetem in the earlier season, sometimes going for assists. And now Juliet Nabukenga also scoring for them. For Nasas today, she's been wasteful. Well, the battle between Angel together with Margaret has actually been exceptional today. Angel outmarking her through Samali. Oh, that's a very good run there. Very, very good run from Campi. Crossing that ball through and Grace <laughs> to the rescue. Has Grace handed a ball first time? I don't remember. Every time she gets the ball, there is that bounce. There is some fumbling. But the good thing, she doesn't get resistance from opposition. And that is why sometimes she saves the day. We have the referee instructing the players to go for a water break. But earlier on, that is Campy who went on to cross the ball to... Uh, was it? Uh, it was Allen, but yeah. she could not get it and keep her gracie. They kept that at bay. the water break at 77 minutes. 13 to go. And those are the ones that may block Kawempe from progressing to the semi finals. Otherwise, if they keep this, then the record holders, a four time champion, could go on uh, to the finals in the seventh season. Well, there you are. Water break, currently a minute of that. As the players try very much to do a little bit of a cool off. It's very hot in Ginger. Just about 12 minutes to play for here. Players getting back onto the pitch to continue this. Confirmation of the scores. Kawempe leading by one goal to zero. Began quickly by Nakachwa. <laughs> that is Amina. Yeah, you can hear Kawempe Muslim players off the pitch <laughs> requesting others not to allow Amina Nababi to go through. That is the Luganda you heard. That's what it means. Rayma Nabulia did come on. Her impact has been slim. I've not seen her get involved, just like her predecessor, Hadija, who left after a few minutes, played 11 to go. That's a ricochet. Eh? Supposed to be a throw in for the Shimax. Ndagire. Stolen away. Referee was actually an obstacle there, but allowed the game to continue. Away to Adeke Juliet, who has not actually been tested heavily today. Really, they not tested. She's going long. Had left for her captain to go for some of them, but this time decides to distribute the ball. Oh, that's a very weird clearance. Now it's Allen. Allen again. Hitting one. Tries to open up. Goes for the dropping ball over the bar. <laughs> I'm not sure if Grace would have seen that one coming had it been on target. But for Allen, her physique helping her out. You can see her rounding off the opponents, getting the ball, bullying them, and going for the shots. Pressure continues. The she marks are here. This is uh, the earlier chance for Allen. Trying to do well. 
It's good skills, very, very good skills from her. She's so lucky that ball came back to her. No foul. This is a low ball through from Rhoda. Margaret, that's one. That's two. And the referee had to award that has for the free she kick. she issued out any old card in the game? Yes, she has. You're forgetting Amina uh, Gupu. Amina never be apart from Amina. I've not seen any other. There are instances that probably need the cards. But the referee knows better. Well, there you have it. It's good skills from Margaret. Very good skills there. Trying to utilize those spaces and oh, that's the tackle on the knee. It's free kick. Starting on it is Nakachua Samali. <laughs> Just the number nine. Who plays right back? Irony yeah, for the me. left back is actually putting on 11. <laughs> Maybe they are dropped backwards because they lack some players. There's a player down. Well, Hope it, it's it, not wasted your time. It could be Margaret time. again. Could be Margaret. Kunhira. It could be. I think it's Margaret. Oh. Because that, that, that tackle that actually came all the way from the team captain. Yeah. You can actually see how with that leg still up. It's feeling the aftermath of that pain there. She's still on the ground. Oh no, it's actually, oh dear. It's Margaret. It's her, it's yeah. her. She just couldn't continue. That tackle was a little bit heavy. She's feeling that pain there. Yeah. Coaching Kata Bile Moses has a huge task replacing her. She holds the core, the mantle of Kawempe Muslim football team midfield well freak just eight minutes remaining to play for here it's eight minutes to play a couple of yards away is the ball as margaret will be receiving some medical attention sent in long by samali straight to grass We'll just remind you by the way the draws of the uganda cup were made yesterday yeah express and you are a, a renowned affair this season where you are a, a has not won any of the fixture beaten home and away it's one of the teams that have managed to beat you are a, a home and away. actually they are the two losses you are a, a have so far this season all those games also coming up very very shortly on ubc this is Angel. Good skills, but unfortunately, read very well there. Ndagire. Amina. Seven to go. Tries to lose that ball away to Anyangu Karo. Karo Anyangu. Amina again. It's a quick fit from her. Look at how she rounds up the midfield of Roda Nanziri. Goes for the loose ball through. And that won't disturb her yeah, really. She has not been bothered at all. The two chances she firmly held the ball on those instances. More should come from she mark. Throw here for she marks. Kuya. Another throw in for them. Yeah, the coach has asked Rema to add on to the numbers up front. Yeah, they're looking for that equalizer at least. Dagide. Actually, it was in Kata telling Nabulia to go and probably add on to the numbers for them to defend. Shame mark. Amina. This is Amina. Look at her go. Lays one through. Looking for more possession. Flag is up on Rebecca. I don't know what the Shima coach is thinking. If it was me, I would ask Amina to go in the box and all balls sent to her. Then she can try to dribble past one, two players and get a clear shot at goal. Because she's doing everything but deeper in the midfield where they don't have chances to shoot at goal. Hola. 
Adeke is telling the referee that her lace is out. <laughs> Remember, Adeke wasted a few minutes in the first half. Hope she's not doing the same in the second half. You know, in football, all antics are allowed as long as they are within the 90 minutes. And as long as the referee does not make you a culprit for a yellow card or a red card at whatever you do, winning is at all costs as it looks for Kawempe Muslim football team. This is the offside. Sentinel. Away by Indagire to Amina. This is Amina. Indagire. Nakasato, twice in a row she's offside. Rebecca, Nakasato. Maybe they should drill the ball a, a little bit faster. Yeah. Oh, she should wait a bit. That one second that gets her offside is denying them chance to venture more forward. She needs to wait a bit. Balls went away by Susan. I mean, I'm trying very much to keep that ball alive, but goes for throwing. Four minutes remaining to play for. Nantungo. It goes long to the opponent's box. Roda tries to go for the shot. Read very well there by Salima. It was a weak one. Yeah. Roda again. Margaret is not yet back. I'm not seeing her in the midfield. She should be partnering. Uh, no, actually. That was Kuni Hira. Shakira partnering Roda. Margaret should be on the sidelines as she ventures through the wings. Will be a throw to be brought in by Nalubega Yudaya now. Yudaya. Brushed away by Nakasato. Kampi loses that ball through to Anyango Amina. And again, read very well there by the captain Nantongo Aisha. Totally sweeping this yeah, away. Skipper is clearing everything that comes their way. I think they need that in the next three minutes. It's a wasted ball there to nobody. So whoever just goes away for throwing again to Kawempe. Kawempe will be very happy if uh, the balls just keep on going out. They have the advantage of the lead. So no problem for them. Shakira. Nanziri. Long ball through, collected well by Grace. Looking to begin this very, very quickly. Yudaya. Foul there. Yeah, but Nasaz is doing well. Okay, apart from the uh, chances she missed, she has time to come back and help out with the defending. She's defending her goal. Fuchirina Kasato just fell into control the ball. She'll be very lucky and very happy that it didn't go far. So it's a uh, Throw in here for the Shimax. Moses very happy with the win. Coach of uh, Kawempe. Nakasato Rebecca puts the ball out for throwing this time. Ndagire here at the midfield. Was she going for goal or going for a pass there? Ndagire retrieves the ball again. Rounding up her marker so well. Dagire, but gives it away cheaply. Samali Nakachwa. Trying to switch that ball long. Long, but she could find it. Yeah, it is. Alen Nasazi. Has three options in the box. Yeah. Oh, that's the other option. An offside. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They've been caught breaking the law. Now we really are trying to get into this slowly, but she has... Oh, oh, what happens? It's a bit of a small nick over there. <laughs> ah, player is very angry, considering that she throws the ball down. Not even warned by the referee. I told you women football is characterized by lots of emotions. And... Kawempe Muslims win themselves a, a free kick? Well, the referee has added a minimum of four. So the 90 are done. Four to play for. Oh, we sent in by Rodan Anziri here. 
ลงไปรูดักคอลเลกต์ดวอลเดียบายนาบูเดียเดอะเพรสเชอร์สคัมมิ่งทรูฟรอมยูดายายูดายาดัสวอลนาบูเดียสติลอนเดอะกราวน์คอลเลกต์ดวอลเดียบายชาคีระผู้ส่งฟาวล์ด์อีกแล้วบายนาคาซาโตเรเบคา I don't believe her bad luck today, Nakasato Rebecca. That is Rhoda Nanziri. She may go long to the box. She is. She is going to go long. Nanziri Rhoda to go long for this. She goes long well, straight to the arms of Grace, <laughs> who majestically receives that. Yeah, game reading. Top notch coming in from Grace. That was a powerful, heavy shot. Margaret is back. That's a touch. Pass away again. That's very good play. This is Nabulia. Stolen gallantly by Namudu Vaiula. The chess is on, looking for Namatovu. But the captain there, Nantongo Aisha, will allow it to roll out for a goal kick. She's been gallant for them. A true captain leading by example. And now we have some people watching in the gardens surrounding the technical center well that is the beauty of football attracts everyone whatever color you are whatever party you support and whatever team you support where there is football there is that magnet that pulls you to come and watch whatsoever and i do not think the spectators were playing so she just stood in the banana plantation and started watching the game <laughs> That was a Nyango Aliron. This is now Yudaya Nalubega. Yudaya. Collected well here. Ooh, unfortunately, it was a little bit heavy there from Namatovu. I don't see Amina at all. I think she's dropped backwards. Kawempe has some of the players who look very, very tired. 90 minutes look shorter when you're doing something, but as you're playing, more so on an artificial turf that we know drains a lot that's why we see some of the gestures on the faces appearing to look very 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 tired margaret it is kept in play here and can't be pulled behind will be a free kick here another word by the referee to josephine indagiri she already has a yellow card She's been warned. You don't need to get a red card towards the end of the game. But that's a pull there from Ndagire Josephine. It's free kick. It will be the usual suspect, Nanziri Roda, to deliver this one in the D. As we have about 30 seconds to play in this match. Now Nanziri to go into the forbidden area with that long ball. Can she make a good one? Long ball forward. It's very poor. And uh, Angel shall allow that to go away to Margaret. And that yeah. battle has been in this match. Those two have been battling it out. We are inside the last three seconds of the game. We've not had women football for 13 months. But it's now back. And we have teams edging closer. Uh, to the semi-finals. Kawempe make it through after a goal scored by Allen Nasazi in the first half. Ndagire, confirmation of her yellow card yeah, she during the yellow. second half. She did. Well, there you have it. So as we speak right about now, the side all the way from Akere, that is uh, the Shimaks, have been relegated to the Elite League. That's going to be very bad for them. They played some pretty good football here. Unfortunately, that kind of good football could not keep them in the league already they have not won any single match in the women's uh, league this season uh, they have just been eliminated here very disappointing but on the other side kawempe muslim side already in the playoff semi-final they've done so well they've only lost one game and it was a game they did lose to uganda matters but trust me they have been very outstanding so far with the way they have played and uh, so far so good it's full time here at the fufa technical center Kawempe Muslim leading this one and winning it comfortably by one goal to zero over Makere 
in the match that has actually just come to an end. So right now, let's go straight away to John Burns Sintemu for the analysis and recap. Peter and Fina Fifi in the middle, you've, you've nailed it. Um, uh, it's unfortunate Makere University will be playing in the Elite League, which is the big league of uh, Uganda and, uh, Premier League football. The men's version of it is the Premier League. It's the Elite Women's League at which Makere will be playing. But Kawempe matches on. I'm joined uh, by the mighty Mike Mobiru. Apologies, I mess up his name with Mike Motevi. I did uh, mess it up with, uh, with Mike Motevi at, I think, at half time, but he's called Mike Mobiru. But after all, both of them are elegant gentlemen. They are very smart, Mike Mobiru and Mike Motevi. If you meet them along the streets of Kampala, you will not differentiate the two in terms of smartness. Welcome back from that uh, 90 minutes of football, Mike Mobiru. Uh, Kawempe, uh, rightly so, uh, um, uh, Rico champions, and uh, they've not messed up anything about that. Yeah, uh, right from the onset, uh, they looked like the team that were going to be winning this one. Unfortunately for, uh, that is uh, Fred Ndaula and his team, that is uh, Shimak, or call it Makerere, uh, women football team, they've not really managed to put up a very good performance tonight. Uh, I thought in the second half, where they needed to push more in the areas of attack, they've not done so. Uh, the been slow. They've not really asked so many questions to uh, the defense of uh, uh, that is Kawempe Muslim. Yet we've seen um, <laughs> the, that defense has been lacking some of the senior players. But the good thing is the fact that, uh, of course, we've seen some very brilliant, uh, brilliant football uh, from both sides. But so unfortunate that uh, Makere is going back to uh, the Elite League. Yeah, but we've seen a young girl, that Alan Nasazi. Mm. She's a revelation at this tournament. She's top scorer, three goals so far. She scored. She's going to be joining us, uh, joining us a little later with, uh, with um, Mr. Uh, Joel Muita at that uh, very venue, uh, Fufa Technical Center. But uh, Mike, you've seen a young lad. Uh, she's coming out. She's coming through. I mean, she's taken the world by surprise. There she is celebrating that goal scored in the first half. Mm. That has seen her team through, and uh, she's also consolidating herself as the top scorer with the three goals thus far. All other senior players were expected to shine, and not yet blowing on all cylinders. Yeah, surprisingly, we've all seen the likes of uh, Margaret Ohing uh, Kohingira uh, getting onto. Uh, I mean, uh, taking this tournament by storm or this league by storm, and it's the youngster, uh, Nasa Nasaz, who is uh, making all the headlines. And you probably think that uh, they will be um, uh, making a big statement when they have such a kind of player in the playoffs. Yep, um, uh, as you watch the highlights of, uh, of, of that uh, fa entire game, we are soon are going to be joined by uh, Joel Muita, who, is, who has uh, Alan Nasazi, the tournament top scorer at this uh, FUFA Women's Super League under uh, the Federation of Uganda Football Association's uh, Public Relations Officer, Mr. Ahmed Hussein, to tell us a little of the technicalities and uh, logistical, logistical support that the Federation is giving this particular tournament. But before I get to them, um, uh, Mike, mm. again to you. Um, uh, women's football, really. Uh, you, a colleague of mine uh, in, the, in, uh, in, in, in the newsroom as we watched the game told me that uh, they're playing good football, really, and it's good for the eye. Did, do, do you subscribe to that? Yes, I believe th th there's so much yeah. that has changed about the women's football here in Uganda. First of all, um, you can clearly see, I don't think many of you would have thought that uh, the girls would, have, would play such a, a beautiful game of football, especially with the quality that we have on the pitch. And that oh, okay. includes uh, the fact that the game is shown on TV. I think that has given it even more exposure. And the more we continue giving it to you here on UBC, I think it uh, will be a very, very good thing in terms of branding it and probably um, spreading oh. it wide to everywhere. Okay, if you allow, Mike, let me go to the FUFA Tekken Center in Jeru, where my colleague, uh, Joel Muita, is on standby with Alan Nasazi, the tournament top scorer. Joel, please take it on. We give you a full time here at the FUFA Technical Center in Injeru, and of course, we must demand them to win it. Uh, of course, a little bit hard for them, but sound, sound. they take the three points, and uh, uh, I would say they are all done through to the playoffs, because three wins out of the four games, clearly, it will be a little bit hard for them to miss out on the playoffs. Of course, considering that we have more two games to go uh, tomorrow, which could change uh, the, the standings. But for now, I'm joined by Aaron Nasazi, uh, the top scorer at the moment. Three goals to her name. Of course, uh, not so many goals we've seen to, uh, in this tournament, but she has three goals. Aaron, how did you get to the top scorer of the tournament? Okusoke Adala. Ninda kwe baliza mkama katonda. Kwa watali mkama katonda techi nza kubanga tisoka. Mm. Cheche change. Na then kukubila anga obadi mtona menti. Wajia unindikila kubenche mbile vile jasoka. Na ye mbude vuno katigwe akule mbeda bate vyo. Pulida bulu nji nyo kubana inuwe andiba degwe nga adoso kila katebe. Use HCA chinuwe. Soka gundi. 
ku first line up then okuberanga oyimiride mu bigere bya nalukenga atali wo yagenzo kole bibuzo erinyanga nalukenge go uliro tya kuberanga mu budde buno tali wo naye omulimu ogukola ah njagala kuteka wachi tiyatandika onange che chindi mbongo okay that's alen nasazi the top scorer at the moment with three goals and uh She's really having a fine tournament at the moment. And uh, right now I'll be joined by Ahmed Hussein, uh, the communications director at FUFA, to give us the nitty gritties of the tournament. Of course, the tournament started on a Friday, or rather Monday. Today is Friday. We have another week to go, then the playoffs again. So Ahmed Hussein, largely the picture of the tournament so far, uh, eight games played. And uh, now uh, we're almost running through. Well, it was very important for the girls to get back to football after a whole year. Uh, we are talking of a period that, of course, uh, women football lovers we are starved of action. Uh, the girls we are starved of action, but we are also glad they are being driven by about three or four factors: one, return to playing football, uh, becoming a national champion, then representing the country in the Africa uh, Women Club Championship. That is the Champions League on the continent. So all those factors are driving them. But largely, we believe that uh, we've done our most important part is to give them the chance to play football after 365 days. Yeah, now playing under the bubble, of course, teams coming here in one place, and of course, the financial uh, challenge that comes with it, feeding these players, and uh, the, the additions. How have you been able to pull it off? Yeah, the format may not be the most uh, welcoming to the teams uh, because of the challenges. Uh, the most important thing was for us to make sure that they play football. Uh, the challenges in terms of finances, yes, uh, thanks to FIFA, uh, who apparently provided us with the funds to make sure that uh, there is a resumption of action in women football, even for the men's football, remember. So we are taking up all the costs in terms of uh, the COVID tests, uh, the accommodation, which is at the technical center here, the technical team that is in charge of this tournament, including the second tier league, that is the FUFA Women Elite League. We shall take up that as the course as FUFA. Okay, thank you, Ahmed Hussein, the FUFA Communications Director. And uh, action continues tomorrow with the final games in this group. Toro Queens up against Uganda Matters, who also need this game to qualify. But the, the other game, we love Kawe Kampala Queens taking on Macquarie University, who are yet to win in a game. Over to you, John Brands Sentamu in the studios. Great, Joel Mujita, right down at the Fort Technical Center in Jura. I think you are enjoying, and please go ahead and enjoy your moments because I know it's now much days over. You've got a couple of hours if you are really allowed to walk out of the bubble and go to Jinja and, is, and tour because Jinja is the capital city of Uganda's tourism. I'm back in the studio joined by Fifi Fiona Piki Namiro and Mike Mubiru. Fifi Fiona Piki Namiro, you've heard from the guys on the ground. You've seen Nasazi Allen. She's excited. She's not uh, faced. She's unfazed by stepping in the footsteps of others that have failed to deliver goals at this tournament. Uh, supposing it were you, what would you feel now, Fifi? I would be very happy. I would uh, over the moon uh, because scoring goals is one of the things strikers look forward to. I'm just uh, feeling bad she's donning jersey number two. They have a right back <laughs> uh, donning jersey nine. But anyway, let's leave the jerseys. These days, uh, they tell us players are very versatile and can play in number four. Nasazi Hafizik is one of those that uh, uh, scouts uh, that uh, teams look forward to, uh, teams playing in the Champions League, that is Europe. And I believe that is now the target of most of the players, apart from uh, Fazila. Put, uh, probably Uganda has not had chance to have a uh, players play as far as that. Uh, for me, uh, like me, that a uh, stature, and uh, if she's focused, uh, then she'll get the goals. Uh, deputizing for Nalukenge, who is not around doing her exams, which is also very important because uh, you, if you mix football then with education, that means you become a top-notch player. You know where you want to be. But as the game uh, for Kampala, uh, Muslim, I thought they would have scored even more. Unlike mm. for them, they did, but at the moment, it is about progressing that matters, and uh, NASA has made sure they do that. So she's the player to watch, at least in the semifinals. Um, uh, Mike, um, uh, scoring goals ain't easy at all, but we saw some other action in that uh, second half, particularly. Can you just uh, talk Ugandans through about what exactly happened in the second half of football? Yes, Kawempe are through to the semifinals that will happen the other Monday, not this one coming up, but the other Monday, because another group walks into the bubble at uh, the Injero Technical Center on Sunday, whose action we shall get underway on a Monday. But 
the action in the second half. Mike Mubiru. Yeah, absolutely uh, wonderful. Though we didn't see the goal, a bit of I'm um, a bit disappointed. I thought um, Kawempe was going to be uh, probably running riot and uh, maybe probably score another two or three goals, but it did really happen. Uh, that was uh, simply because they uh, ruined a bit of chances there. But uh, um, Shimak, I think they came into the second half a little bit derailed, and um, they thought maybe it was all over, uh, looking at the performance they put in. They didn't really strive to uh, ask questions to um, Kawempe Muslim, which wasn't really so good um, defensively. So it was an equally uh, balanced game with uh, the comfortability of uh, uh, that is Kawempe Muslim because they knew they would probably sit back. They had the orders uh, the audacity to sit back and uh, invite uh, Shimak Makere to uh, attack them. But they didn't really use that as an advantage to uh, get that one goal that probably would have inspired them to uh, win the game. Um, uh, Fifi, um, yeah. uh, tomorrow, two games coming up. Toro will play Uganda Matters. I think yeah. uh, there's a lot to play for in that. The first game on UBC 9 a.m. will be, then the second game will be uh, uh, Makerere against Kawempe. Neighbors in geography in Kampala, but uh, yeah. tomorrow they will have to be detached. Fifi, take me through and Ugandans how uh, it stands now. Actually, because as it stands, we... Kawempe mm. have gone through. They have nine points. Uh, in mm. second position is uh, Uganda Matters High School, Uvaga, because they have uh, six goals and apparently with the one goal difference. Uh, Kampala Queens winning their game today put them on six points, uh, but they're in minus one with goals, so they come in third position. Uh, then well, we talk about uh, Toro Queens. They're in uh, fourth position with three points, so they have everything to fight for respect because even if they win tomorrow's game at six points, when Uganda Matters uh, would want to go to nine points, uh, for them, they may not go through, but play for respect. Then for Shimak, like you said, the, their last game yeah, for me... Yeah, play Kampala Queens, eh? Yeah, play Kampala Queens, probably. Kampala Queens now may want to top the group, mm. go for nine, and pray uh, that the goal difference they get is uh, better as Kawempe Muslims. Um, uh, finally, Mike, as we leave uh, this particular edition of uh, the special uh, FUFA Women's Super League Studio, your final remarks as we leave. Absolutely. You continue watching it. Uh, you, we've seen some brilliant displays here, and I can promise you more. Um, are coming. If the games are coming in thick and fast, tomorrow we shall be here live at exactly 9 a.m. And of course, um, you can clearly see the talent <laughs> is there. And the more we expose your this... Neighbor, your, your neighbor is uh, shaking her head uh, at 9 a.m. Football the, the, at 9 a.m. You can ask, please make a date with us. My uh, conclude, my conclude. The, yeah, there's a lot of uh, brilliant talent out there on the pitch. My friend was telling me that, can these girls really play football? Now you've seen. So it, you have every reason to sit back in your living room and watch us tomorrow. And if you remind them that uh, Uganda Matters beat up on Kawempe that has just beaten up on... Uh, yeah. When it's game today. That's right. The only tomorrow they, they have. Tomorrow they play a game. Yeah. They must win surprisingly. That's the funny bit about football. Yeah. You beat a team, then you find yourself in a situation where you can be ejected and it qualifying. What is Uganda Matters? Uh, that is the winning? beauty of football. I believe they have to go all out. They have okay. to uh, start like Kawempe did. I start from the start and try to maintain a top-notch game. I win. I would want to appeal to some of the MPs. I'm very sure Honorable Anita Among is watching one of those powerful that advocates for football and all other MPs. When you go to parliament uh, please talk about women football mm -hmm. we've seen something yeah you would want all the youth uh, to go do different jobs but sometimes when they are not there this is a different avenue there is a lot of money if football is well prepared from the grassroots women football is very good it's eye-catching it's attractive and it is money venturing do that for us uh, go for uh, or everything that allows to guard uh, the sport. Actually, guard it, eject money into it, and believe me, we shall get there. I love women football. I believe women can go to the World Cup faster before uh, the male team. Um, Mike, are you wishing about anything? 20 seconds, please, and um, then we conclude this. Well, I just wish all the teams that have, have played very good uh, football to probably uh, stay on and focus, stay focused. Uh, for Shimak, of course, you go back to the drawing board and uh, try to organize yourself. But for the rest of the teams, of course, wish you good luck. Yeah, um, uh, like uh, Joel, I told uh, you on your TVs, wherever you may be watching this from, um, uh, it's a bubble that we are we're having at this particular FIFA Women's Super League. Um, uh, the first group is out tomorrow. After those two games we're telling you about, the big Biggest of all, Toro Queens against uh, Uganda Matters. 9 a.m. Ugandan time. We shall be here. Fifi Yampi Namiro is shaking her head, but we shall be here tomorrow <laughs> to give you the game because it's a must win for both those teams. It's a, a final of sorts before the final itself. Then another batch will join uh, the bubble at Tanjiro next week. And by Monday next week, by Wednesday next, the other week, we shall conclude uh, this tournament. A great thanks to the Federation of Uganda Football Association's all partners and the production team down there at Injeru. My production team led by Eddie Mwesi, you've been wonderful. The two guys that I've met, that I've worked with here, Fifi and uh, Mike, Mike Mutevi. I'm not a guy. Mike Mubiru, Mike Mutevi, you've been wonderful. See you again tomorrow. Please make a date with us because the football just gets started on UBC TV.
Food is more than just a great meal. It's even better when it's prepared with art.